So I was so happy the other day. Um, SD Boney contacted me and um, they said, Ed, would you be able to do a little unboxing video of a UV IR cut filter? And of course I reached out and I said, of course I would, I'd love to. So um, in this video, I'm going to basically do an unboxing of the filter. It's a one and a quarter inch I, um, IR UV cut filter. And I'm also going to show you a before and after effects of using a UV IR filter. Now, originally I was going to go out and do some astral photography, but due to some technical issues, I couldn't get my camera to work and I spent four hours out there and I couldn't get the camera to focus. So I'll have to do that at a later stage. But today what I have for you is some terrestrial images taken with a UV and IR filter. And perhaps they came out even better than what you would have expected from an astral photography point of view. But right now, check this out. So, why would you use one of these bad boys in the first place? Well, there's such things as UV rays and um, infrared rays, which, even though are invisible to the human eye, the CMOS cameras and the CCD cameras are sensitive enough to pick these rays up. So, you don't want these rays to be present in your images, and for that, you would use one of these um, filters. Now, the actual filter in my hand is from SD Boney, and it has a nano nano coating on the optical lens which will basically filter out these rays giving you a nice sharp clear image and just to demonstrate how well it works take a look at this in this actual shot what i've done is um place the remote control in front of the lens and i've filmed with my camera the actual ray coming out of the remote control and in front of the lens where the lens is actually filtering it through now these rays are actually present up in the sky so when you're filming um, if you don't have one of these filters, they're going to distort your image and you don't want that. So you're going to use one of these filters and this particular one will block out rays between 420 and 680 nanometers, leaving behind the actual visible uh, wavelengths which you want in your picture, such as the H-alpha emission line. Now, let's go outside and see what, um, see what the images look like during the day. Unfortunately, I couldn't take... The images at night as I said due to my camera not working properly but take a look so I'll take a look at this image this was taken about two uh, two miles away there's no filter and you could clearly see the UV and IR light which is not present to the human eye but when a filter is used this will disappear now take a look at the uh, same image this is with uh, the UV IR uh, filter and the light is actually gone. There's a slight green um, haze over the image, but this could be removed using some sort of imaging processing software. So there you have it. I hope in the video I've demonstrated really well why you would use one of these bad boys in your images. It will certainly make the difference. Um, I, I really enjoyed uh, shining the remote control through it also and seeing the difference that it actually makes. So it actually proves that it actually worked. And um, even going outside during the day, I think you can appreciate it more during the day because you can see things with a human eye. You can see the difference of filming with the camera and filming um, without the IR filter. Because basically, when you're looking at the object with the human eye, you can't see this light bouncing off of the mask. It, it looked really clear. But once you filmed it and then you looked at the image that was produced, there was all this light and you were thinking, but it wasn't that bright. How comes this is showing up in, in, in my image, destroying my image? And then once you added this, yeah, you get that green glare, but you could process that stuff out. And obviously, if you're doing um, astrophotography, I don't think you're going to get that um, uh, green glare anyway at night. But the uh, white light, that white light will, will remain and you might want to 
get rid of it depending on what you're doing so anyway look if you like the uh, video please like and subscribe and i've left some links below the video where you can actually purchase this uh, filter from and if you have any comments or suggestions then go ahead please educate me i'm still learning i'm always learning it's a never ending process and i'm always looking at new things so clear skies and thanks for watching s vivoni thanks for the um, opportunity i really appreciate it take care Perfect. Perfect.